Plotty, what happened? The program specifically designed to scan for data singularities was detected by the network's firewall and is temporarily unusable. Therefore, I can't provide you with the exact location of the data singularity this time. Huh? I told you before. Data singularities in the surface layer are a type of error or loophole in the system. So in order to find singularities like this, the program essentially acts as an attack on the network. I've only used this program on the network twice, but its firewall has already identified it as a source of attacks and will counterattack whenever I activate it. For that reason, I don't have a way to locate data singularities right now. And so? There are certainly other singularities within the network, but you'll need to find them yourself this time. You're quite familiar with the surface layer now, right? Have you noticed any distinctive features? Hmm. The coordinates for the last two data singularities happen to be where the Omnium reactors were located in the surface layer. Maybe there is some sort of connection between the two? I'm not talking about that. It's the similar data fluctuations that might indicate a weakening in the firewall's functions. I'm not sure about that. The only real similarity between the last two operations is that we had to use Omnium reactors that existed on the surface layer. If we locate the next reactor, we might also find a new data singularity there. That's a bold assumption, Authorizer. If you're right, it might revolutionize our entire understanding of the surface layer. Here's an example. Research revealed that attacks on the foundational layer by viruses led to anomalies in Ada's surface layer. That's why, after you eradicated the viruses, the surface network's aberrations vanished. If your theory holds, then a data singularity's surface coordinates should align with a foundational layer vulnerability, rather than being tied to a fixed object on the surface layer. Exactly. If Omnium reactors can pinpoint data singularities, it implies that the surface layer's operational logic also impacts the network's foundational layer. This could significantly influence our network's repair strategies. Understood. Get moving, Authorizer. If you actually succeed, we'll have a lot of work ahead of us. Understood. But before I proceed, can you tell me if Hykros has any lab records on Omnium experiments, especially those related to reactors from before the Cataclysm? This would help me find them more easily once I enter the network. Yes, I did find some. After you mentioned what happened on the surface layer, I stumbled upon a few records. I think you'll find them quite intriguing. Once you've gone through these materials, you'll be ready to dive into the network. Hey, Plotty. I looked through those files you gave me. I have some questions about their authenticity. These are all official reports from Asperia's media and the Federation. Even if the events aren't perfectly aligned with the facts, the conclusions are verified as true.
But if everything in these files is true, does that mean I've already altered the history that was meant to unfold within the network? If so, will everything still play out as it did in Ida's real history? There's a flaw in your reasoning. It's precisely because the network's history is immutable that the events recorded in these files are destined to occur. I showed you these files to remind you not to waste any more energy on the surface layer than absolutely necessary. Or have you already forgotten about Shirley? Of course not. You're finally here, researcher! Check out the fruits of my latest and greatest research on Aurora Industries! It took three days of non-stop work, but it's finally done! Actually, she just rummaged through the old box and gathered all the intel from Wednesday. Gray Fox was always urging her to organize it, but she kept putting it off until now. Absolutely! I fed all the intel from these reports, plus Aurora Industries' public market data, into Gray Fox's decryption terminal. And the AI has already pinpointed several possible hideouts for Gray Fox. Unfortunately, since all this intel was gathered in the past, we can only narrow it down to a few buildings and manufacturing plants under Aurora Industries, as well as some of Lucius's private properties. The rest is up to Officer Roslyn, our guardian angel whose courage, incredible acting, and commitment to justice have empowered her to continue our righteous fight against Chief Wells and his tyranny. Well, that introduction was super long. In short, I fibbed to Wells that my zeal to nab the thief led me to mess with his plans. That tale earned me a suspension pending investigation, but it gave me ample time to shadow him. I know exactly what you're thinking, but the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Anka and I have agreed on a secret code, and she can see my location in real time whenever she wants. If anything happens to me, she'll know where to find me. Our secret code is Sega, 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 Sega. I've already sent Anka the location Wells often visits when off duty. Hopefully, these will help you rescue Gray Fox. Hmm. <sighs> Wells is in a meeting with some of Asperia's government officials today. I plan to slip into his office to gather some crucial evidence. Anka, watch your backs out there, and best of luck. Okay, let's go. Here's the information Roslyn gave me earlier. If you put it all together, there are only three places left to investigate. A private villa in Dandelion Coast, 
an Aurora Industries production plant in Linglong Industrial Park, and an unfinished building in Azure Coast. We don't have time to investigate all three of them. If we want to maximize our chances of saving Gray Fox, we'll have to split up and search. Ace and I will take Azure Coast. You should be pretty familiar with Linglong Industrial Park, researcher. Why don't you and Meryl handle that area? <sighs> Actually, through my Hykros connections, I recently discovered that the building in Azure Coast is actually another secret Omnium Research Center by Aurora Industries. So Lucius is keeping a huge secret somewhere in that building, and it's most likely connected to Gray Fox. That's what you're saying, right? Yes. Then again, we'd be wasting a lot of time if we didn't find her there. Maybe it's better if we cover more ground first? Researcher is right. To the Public Security Bureau, you're nothing but a group of uncontrollable fugitives. Without me here, they would stop at nothing to hunt down and arrest you all. <sighs> Such a hassle. Let's all just head to that coast then. Is this the place? It's so quiet. I don't think anyone's been here for a long time. Do you really think we'll find Gray Fox here? It seems there are two entrances here. One at the front and one at the back. Should we pair up? Yes. I think we can cover more ground that way. I'll go with Researcher. And since when did we put you in charge? You're the one who suggested splitting up in the first place. Hey boss, don't you want to team up with me anymore? Or are you ditching me for the new Researcher? Anka, once we save Grey Fox, I'll make sure she knows every single thing you've been up to. Every bit of it. N no wait! Researcher, help me out here! I don't want Grey Fox to chew me out when she's back. Hey boss, wait up! I don't have a motorcycle! Check this out. It looks like something or someone was dragged along the ground over here. It's too early to say for sure. Let's just see where the trail leads. Step aside. I know a way to get through. Leave these droids to me. I didn't expect your combat skills to be so sharp, perfectly covering my blind spots. Are you really just a researcher? You're much different than I imagined. Only what I found in your Hykros personnel files. Your past mentors say you're a talented researcher 
but often overlook social interactions due to your reserved nature and dedication to research. But the researcher I know is decisive, resilient, and composed under pressure, executing tasks efficiently and never lagging behind. That's because I do. Tell me, what could have happened in such a short amount of time to change you so much? I understand that. Major life changes often lead to shifts in personality. And you've certainly faced your share of them since arriving in Asperia. Like falling into a coma or being kidnapped. Now that you mention it, those events feel like they happened ages ago. Honestly, they weren't that big of a deal, so I wouldn't dwell on them. Besides, I never would have met you if they hadn't happened, right? Even a small shift in perspective can help us understand other people a lot better. After my wandering days came to an end and I returned to Hykros, I said something similar to Helena who cared about me deeply. I'm sure she felt the same way then. You're only comforting me because you don't want me to worry so much about you. That's why you pretend nothing happened, and even make jokes about your painful past to show me how strong you are. Professor Helena told me about you, the daughter of the Lysatria family, who became an orphan overnight, wandering throughout the country while searching for your missing brother. That must have been tough. I didn't expect her to tell you so much about me. She must trust you a lot. Honestly, I can hardly remember my wandering days, or the person I was back then. But losing my brother, that pain, that desperate feeling, I can never forget that. I completely understand. I too lost someone important, and my quest to find her brought me here. I can barely remember who I was when I started this journey. It's like you said, it's impossible not to change after so many experiences. But I think change isn't necessarily bad. Without those experiences, I wouldn't have met so many friends or become who I am today. I know you will, so don't worry too much. I'm sure today's mission will be a success, and Grey Fox will be back with you soon enough. Finding her won't be easy, but the happiness of reuniting will be worth it. The breakthrough Lucius mentioned is most likely File 049. He mistook it for Hykros's research and wants to claim it as his own to help Aurora Industries surpass its competitors. But who exactly is this Asurata guy? Is he really that influential? He must be if someone like Lucius has no choice but to bow his head and ask for his help. The so-called Todd family sounds pretty intimidating too. He's the CEO of Auth Inc as well as the next in line to lead the Todd family. Hmm? What? You don't even know basic history? <laughs> in 2547, the distant beacon encountered an accident midair, forcing the Federation to sacrifice part of the ship's cargo to make a safe emergency landing. This ensured everyone's safety, but led to subsequent material shortages. 
In order to maintain social order and establish Ida as quickly as possible, the Federation partnered closely with a number of influential families whose fortunes were built on interstellar travel. Let me guess. The Lisacha and Todd families were among them, right? Correct. My family believes that technology is humanity's guiding light into the future. That's why we invested in cutting-edge technology, including Hykros. The Todd family, however, believes that information rules everything. Many details surrounding the Todd family prior to the age of interstellar travel are difficult to verify. All I can say is that before coming to Ida and establishing themselves as a media giant, the Todd family made their fortune through espionage and trading secrets on the human homeworld. Whether it's espionage, underground deals, or the movement of funds, the Todd family's presence can be felt wherever connections, intel, and money are involved. They're a family of genius entrepreneurs, and their network even extends into the Federation itself. So what's this big job Aserata is doing for Lucius? We'll have to keep digging if we want to find out. Let's go. This document. It's related to File 049's transfer from the Federation Nexus to Asperia. It seems Lucius had been plotting to steal it for a while. I wonder how he managed to get it. You don't need to tell me about Hykros or what they're up to. Now that the Lisaccia family is gone, I'm just a Federation investigator now. But aren't you even a little curious about what's in this file? Lucius wouldn't have gone to such lengths to steal it if he didn't think it contained cutting-edge Omnium research. What would it matter if I knew? I'm not a member of the Todd family. I don't know how to exploit valuable information for profit or power. As far as I'm concerned, they're nothing but parasites with an obsession for money and power. Though they weren't directly involved in the Lisaccia family's destruction, they definitely contributed to it, and even benefited greatly from it. He was still just a student when it all happened, so he had nothing to do with my family's downfall. But Tepin Todd, his father and the true head of the Todd family, is another story. Teppen is an extremely cunning and profiteering man who knows how to maximize his interests while ensuring his own security. When the Lisaccia family was destroyed, he was able to convince the court that he was innocent of any wrongdoing. He wasn't directly involved, so I can't use legal means for revenge. Confronting him would only threaten the life Victor and I have now. But one way or another... He's going to pay for that. We're over here, researcher. We found a series of emails from Lucius asking the whereabouts of file 049, transfer records of the notary company to suppress trending online searches, and procurement records for the construction of a hidden Omnium research lab in this building. It's funny because the trending news was exaggerated by witnesses. They said that Wednesday sent over a dozen people to rob Aurora Industries, yet Lucius paid 10 million Norn just to cover it up. It's Rosalind, researcher. I just lost sight of her location. Lost it? She said she was going to search Wells's office earlier, didn't she? Yes, and ten minutes ago, I could still see her position inside the Public Security Bureau, but it just suddenly disappeared. I tried rebooting it a bunch of times, 
But the signal and location data seems fine. Rosalind's signal is the only one missing, and she's not responding to any of my messages. Oh, what should I do? Stop panicking, Anka. It could just be a problem with her locator or the signal in the bureau. Just be patient. Anka, Nola, listen. Go find Roslyn now. If she's in danger, call the Fang Gang for help. If she's safe, help her continue searching Wells' office for clues. But what about Gray Fox? Meryl and I can handle things here. By the time you get to the Bureau, we'll be finished. In any case, there is no reason for either of you to come back. I agree with Researcher, but I'm not leaving until Gray Fox is rescued. I'm leaving Roslyn in your hands, Anka. Take this badge and show it to Gunpowder of the Fang Gang, and he'll do whatever he can to help. Boss, I understand. I'm off to look for Roslyn now, so the rest of you better stay safe. What's that noise? It sounds like someone's banging on the door. Could it be Gray Fox? Hmm? He was Aurora's previous chief scientist. Richard took over after his resignation. He must have had his doubts about the origins of File 049, so he resigned out of fear. In other words, if this Simon person is still alive, he can serve as a witness to implicate Lucius for stealing File 049 and conducting illegal Omnium research. Something about this is a little strange, though. How so? Don't you think everything has gone way too smoothly for us so far? Now that you mention it, it does feel that way. The only resistance we encountered was a few droids, and they were easy enough to take down. You'd think they would have better security for an illegal Omnium lab, but getting in here was even easier than infiltrating the Aurora Experimental Center. Maybe Aurora Industries didn't expect us to find this place? It's not just that. Those strange footprints led us all the way here, and these documents are powerful evidence that directly proves Lucius stole File 049 and conducted illegal Omnium experiments. How should I put it? It feels like an invisible hand has been deliberately placing everything we need right in front of us. When you put it that way, it does feel odd. Hey, Nola. I remember you saying that the media exaggerated our break-in of the Aurora Experimental Center, blowing it up to say there were over a dozen people involved, right? Yeah, we broke in all right, but the process was grossly exaggerated. A scenario in which old allies are eliminated, new enemies are defeated, and a bright future is brought into clear sight. The only person who stands to win here is Wells. Could it be... What do you mean about Wells? Researcher, what exactly are you talking about? I'm worried that Wells was only pretending to buy into Rosalind's act, and that he used her to lure us out here. If so, Wells has most likely captured her already. Wells probably wants to eliminate all his problems, whether it's us or Lucius. That's why he went through so much trouble to set this up and used Gray Fox to lure us here. We've come this far. Even if it is a trap, we have to try. As long as there is even the slightest chance of rescuing Gray Fox, I won't give up. I'm going too. 
If this whole thing really is a trap laid by Wells, then I'm your only shot at survival. Uh, thank you. What's this? <sighs> it's just like what the like shooter electronics. Wait. No, it's not. I'm sensing a completely different pressure from this guy. I can't locate his weak point at all. Don't deal with him now, you'll never be able to find Grey Fox. But he's way tougher than the last one. Hear me, Plotty? I hear you. Did you make it? I did. I found an Omnium reactor in the surface layer and used the terminal there to locate another data singularity and enter the network. My guess was right. There must be some connection between the Omnium reactors in the surface layer and the data singularities. Well done. Now all we have to do is thoroughly research your new discovery. But right now, you have something much more important to do. The area of the foundational layer you're currently in is under attack by a large number of viruses. They're about to take over the control tower, so please clear them out as soon as possible. Okay. The viruses in the foundational layer are definitely the root cause of the aberrations in the surface layer. But to be safe, I suggest you use the control tower to repair the system before leaving. But I didn't use the control tower last time. It was Shirley, or rather Void Piercer, who used it, but I'm not exactly sure what they did. Control towers are used to modify or maintain the network system functions but improper modifications can sometimes damage it. If you want to know what she did last time, you'll have to ask her. Got it. Go to the control tower. I'll teach you how to input the system repair command. Relax. Just follow my instructions and input the commands into the panel. any of them get away. Yes! Well... Rush, what are you doing?
can't die yet, Wells. I still have so much to ask you. Roslyn, you'll find everything in the secret room of my office. I failed your father. But worse, I've got the evidence. I All you. I need now is your statement. <laughs> you can't die now, Wells. I still need answers. Forgive me. I was so blinded by power. Researcher, I didn't see you when I came in. Yeah, it's a total mess. Everything happened so fast. Whew. Thank goodness you're okay. I was so worried about you when I saw the arrest warrant. Tell me, are you actually a member of Wednesday now? Or were you kidnapped? No, it's not like that. Aurora Industries. They wanted to get some Omnium technology secrets out of me, but I refused, so they framed me. I'm totally innocent. I see you've had it rough. I get it, don't worry. Honestly, these last few days have been the scariest of my life. Um... Don't get me started. I almost got suspended for helping Roslyn. I thought she was trying to catch Wednesday to get her job back, but she ended up rescuing them. Wait... You didn't report her to Wells, did you? Of course not. I'm a proper officer of the Public Security Bureau. I kept quiet, assessed the situation calmly, and began my own investigation before making any conclusions. I'm still not done investigating, just so you know. After I got assigned to this operation today, I received a distress call from Ace. I mean Anka. She said someone from the Fang Gang discovered that Wells had Roslyn locked away in the hospital. What? I never got to ask the Chief, and now I never will. I guess the Chief knew Roslyn suspected him, but couldn't kill her like he did Wednesday. So he faked a psychological disorder for Roslyn and had her locked in the hospital. A psychiatrist I caught earlier told me how they torture their victims that way. When I joined the Force, I never thought I'd end up teaming with a suspended special officer, a notorious criminal group, and the famous Fang Gang of Esperia to bring down my own chief. What a nightmare. But when this is all over, at least I can say I was a brave and just officer of the law who upheld the vow I made at the Academy. Anka, why are you and Roslyn here? Didn't I tell you to look for Gray Fox somewhere else? Because Rosalind found a lot of evidence against Wells in his office. Like the weapon used to murder her father, the gun that once belonged to him but went missing years ago. It was in Wells' private safe all along. He's been lying to Rosalind for years and years. Same thing this time. Wells never trusted her and knew she'd eventually follow him. So he used her to lure us into a trap and pit us against that maniac, Lucius. He even lied about that meeting he supposedly went to. That was just to bait her into entering his office so he could capture her and send her to the hospital. So as soon as Rosalind was safe, the two of us rushed over here to rescue you. Otherwise, Wells' plan of evil masterminds killed by a monster and Ambassador of Justice Wells saves the day might have succeeded. So did you guys find Gray Fox? No, nothing. Despite the chaos, we didn't find any hidden doors, secret rooms, or passages. Gray Fox must be somewhere else. Don't lose hope yet. I asked Gunpowder to check other places where Gray Fox might be held, and he just sent me a message. Maybe he found something. No luck. Gunpowder says he checked every corner and asked around. But there's no sign of Gray Fox. Weren't you just telling me not to lose hope yet? Don't start giving up now. 
According to you, she's supposed to be really tough, right? That's right. She's the daughter of Tep and Todd, the wealthy president of Auth Inc. And Aserata Todd, the Auth Inc. executive who always appears before the media, is her older brother. Then I'm sure Gray Fox is fine. The Todd family is extremely well established, and even Lucius fears and respects them. There's no way he would have done anything to put her in real danger. Besides, it's possible the Todd family has already found her. But if she's okay, then why hasn't she contacted me yet? I've sent her hundreds of messages, but still no reply. It's so frustrating. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I have to think of something. <sighs> Come on, Anka, think. <sighs> this isn't working. I haven't slept in three days, so I can't even think straight right now. Maybe I'll come up with something after a good night's sleep. Hey, Meryl, did you find the rest of file 049? No, just a few fragments of it. I think most of it was damaged during the fight just now. But if I gather as much of them as possible, I can hand them over to the Federation along with Lucius. And that should be enough. Given his current condition, the only option is to take him to the hospital for treatment and interrogate him once he wakes up. After that, I'll shift the focus of my investigation to his relationship with Wells. Thankfully, Anka saved me a lot of trouble by gathering enough evidence and information related to Aurora Industries. However, I'll still need the Public Security Bureau's help for the next part of my investigation. Officer Roslin, I know things must be difficult for you right now, but there's still a lot of work to be done, and I'll need your help to do it. Sorry, Agent Merrill, but I'm still suspended pending an investigation into my previous actions. You'd better ask Carol for help. I can put in an urgent request to have you reinstated as a special officer for the sake of aiding my investigation and cleaning things up here. You can't give up, Roslyn. You're the most responsible, determined, and righteous cop in all of Asperia. Maybe even all of Ida. Besides, you still haven't brought me to justice, remember? Who said anything about giving up? Attention. All officers of the Public Security Bureau. Under Agent Merrill's orders, I have been temporarily reinstated as a special officer and assume full command of this crime scene. President Lucius is suspected of conducting illegal Omnium experiments and bribing government officials. However, due to his unconscious state, he must first be transported to the hospital for medical treatment. Regarding Wells Coudreau, former chief of police for the Asperia Public Security Bureau, prior to his death, he was suspected of accepting bribes, murdering Officer Lockard, his predecessor, and several other crimes. Have our forensic doctors retrieve his body as soon as possible. As for the members of Wednesday, Nola and Anka are suspected of kidnapping a Kylo researcher, stealing from Aurora Industries, and other crimes. However, they voluntarily surrendered themselves to me and later assisted in exposing the crimes of Chief Wells. As such, they are to be temporarily detained for further questioning. Kylo Researcher, as a suspected accomplice in Wednesday's crimes, you will also be detained for questioning. Me? So no one is safe now, huh? D don't worry, everyone. I'm sure Officer Roslyn, our righteous and merciful friend, will show us a little more leniency after helping out in such an important case. Isn't that right, Officer Roslyn? I'm already helping you by attesting to your surrender and your assistance in exposing Wells. Showing you leniency is the judge's decision, not mine. Officer Roslyn, these three are closely tied to my current mission. They were instrumental in helping me retrieve a missing Federation file, as well as providing incriminating evidence against Aurora Industries. Huh? Yay! 
I still require their assistance for the rest of my investigation. The law dictates that as a federal agent, I am authorized to take detainees of the Public Security Bureau into my custody as needed. I can agree to that, but not before they undergo the Public Security Bureau's detainment procedures first. Once your mission is over, they will need to be returned to us for further investigation as well. Understood. However, until my own investigation is concluded, I'd like for them to operate with full autonomy while under my supervision. As long as they conduct themselves in accordance with the law, I have no objections. Thank you, Meryl. <laughs> Thank you, Meryl. Wahoo! Wednesday foiled yet another criminal plot. And our incredible friend and the Federation bailed us out of serious trouble. Now that's what you call a perfect ending. She didn't bail you out of anything. As a federal agent, she's only taking you into her custody for the time being. Remember to work hard, and you might just have a chance to make amends. Don't worry, I've stocked up enough evidence against Aurora Industries to completely make up for my crimes. In fact, I might have enough to earn a commendation or two. Don't get ahead of yourselves, especially after all the trouble your organization has caused so far. That goes double for you, Anka. Even if you don't end up in jail, you're looking at 10 years of community service at the very least. Fine by me. Working odd jobs is my specialty after all. You... Ugh, forget it. Agent Merrill and I need to return to the Bureau to file our incident reports, as well as sort out the paperwork for leaving you in her custody. Excellent work, Authorizer. Unfortunately, after the firewall blocked my program, I've made almost no progress in researching the surface layer. Right now, your actions within the surface layer are probably our best and only option. So, if you still have energy for it, perhaps you'd like to continue investigating other connections between the foundational layer and the surface layer. You mentioned earlier that history within the network can't be altered, but the explosion reported in those articles you showed me was completely averted. That was because my actions within the foundational layer seemed to change the outcome. Th that's impossible. The surface layer is an authentic record of the past, meaning it's supposed to follow the exact course of Ida's history. What you're describing is no different than making changes to an old movie. So how could that be? I'm not sure, but how else do you explain everyone surviving their predetermined deaths? Are you sure they actually survived? Based on our original understanding of the surface layer, even if they managed to avoid the explosion, the record still would have ended when it was supposed to end. Meaning, if it was their time to go... Changing the outcome wouldn't stop them from disappearing at the certain point in time. So what? Just because they're made of data from previous events, does that really mean there's no point in trying to change their fates? Based on our current understanding, that's exactly what it means. Either way, I suggest confirming it for yourself, as it would still further our understanding of the surface layer. Okay. Hello, hello! You've reached Anka, Esperia's up-and-coming community service star and model citizen. What can I do for you, researcher? <sighs> huh? You didn't seriously think Rosalind threw me in jail, did you? N no I just wanted to ask if you still had the badge Nola gave you earlier. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about it. Rosalind's still setting up my community service schedule, so I can't leave right now. Could you swing by and pick it up instead? Okay.
researcher. You gotta help me change Rosalind's mind. Meryl just invited her to become a Federation agent, but she turned her down. I just think I'm not ready to take on any new challenges right now. I know I won't be chosen to run the Bureau next, but... Meryl gave you time to consider her offer, remember? You don't have to come up with an answer right now, so just give it a little more thought. Even I'm a little jealous that she offered you something like that. I know Meryl said she would use her authority as a federal agent to pardon Wednesday for breaking into Aurora Industries twice, but that doesn't mean you have to keep siding with her like this. I'm only thinking of you, Rosalyn. Your dream is to preserve justice, order, and equality for all, and becoming a federal agent would bring you closer to that than staying here as an Asperia cop. And then what? Without me here to supervise your community service, you would just run off and commit more crimes as a member of Wednesday, right? That's not what I meant. I just think a change of scenery would be good for you. That way, you wouldn't have to face everything related to Wells all the time. It could be just like last time, when you left Ostra after your dad passed away. A new environment gave you the space you needed to process everything, remember? I... I didn't pick myself up back then because I had new surroundings. It was because... I met a good friend who I could talk to about anything. If I stay in Asperia, I'll still have you, Carol, and... Researcher, and right now, that's a lot more important to me than becoming a federal agent. Besides, a truly outstanding police officer can uphold justice, order, and equality just as well as any federal agent. In any case, I'm not taking my eyes off you until your community service is done. So don't even think about trying to shake me before then. If you do a good job, I might even... consider calling you Sega. Roslyn... It was nothing. I was just doing my duty as an officer of the law. Hmm? I just got a message from Carol. She's asking me to return to the office because a federal agent is looking for me. I have to go now. But remember to show up to work on time, Anka. You hear me? On time. Yes, ma'am. Oh, crud. Classes are almost over at the kindergarten, and I'm supposed to work there as a crossing guard today. Oh, sorry, researcher, but I gotta go right now or else I'll be late. Here, take Nola's badge. Also, I still haven't forgotten about searching for Gray Fox. I'll let you know right away if I find anything, so please do the same for me. Guess I'll go return Nola's badge now. Wait, Rosalind said a federal agent was looking for her, but she didn't mention Rosalind's name at all. Could it be someone else? I saved Anka and the others, but what about Meryl's encounter with Aserata Todd and Team X? Will things still play out like they did in the real world? Welcome to Odin's Tavern. How may I serve you? Very well. One glass of iced water. We're discussing Lucius right now. The hospital doctors found traces of a rage-inducing drug in his system, which must have been administered by Wells. He's still unconscious. But once he wakes up, I'll be sure to ask him about Grey Fox's whereabouts. We appreciate it. You should thank her on behalf of Anka and yourself as well. After all, it's only thanks to her that we're not in jail right now. You don't mind, do you? Oh, I nearly forgot about it. Thanks. Wait, that batch. Where did you get it? It's been with me, like, forever. You've seen it before? 
Yeah, I remember spotting it once in a file. Likely a Federation document. Really? What else do you know about it? It's really important to me. I need to know everything you can remember. I... I... I might have found it by accident when I was looking through the archives. I realized I had the wrong file and closed it right away. The page I saw had an image of this badge. I didn't read the details, but it seemed to be related to the Defense Force, possibly a covert unit. So... I was a soldier? A covert unit? I do recall being in a brutal battle, but I can't remember anything else. It makes sense. Aside from your own outstanding fighting prowess, you also demonstrate skills in group combat that are generally reserved for highly trained special forces. Soldiers who have seen the savagery of war firsthand often suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and other mental health issues. In more severe cases, some patients develop symptoms akin to amnesia as a way of repressing their experiences. Where can I get more information about this unit? Normally, ordinary Defense Force members just have to submit a simple access request to the military institution that possesses the files in question. But if you were in a secret ops team, the records would be stored in the Federation's classified archives. Any chance you could tell me where that library is located? Who's there? I don't see any issue with these documents. I'll be sure to report every last detail of today's findings to the Federation once I return. As for File 049, a significant portion of it was damaged in the battle earlier, when a stray bullet struck the file. I managed to recover a fair amount of the fragments and seal them in an evidence bag, but the file is beyond recovery. Interrogate me. That's rich. Authorizer, your researcher persona has caught the Federation's attention in the surface layer. This complicates our mission. Plotty? It's an emergency, so please use the space rift and get out right away. I'll set up a new persona for you once you return. Hmm? Yes! Right now! What did you do to set off the firewall? Huh? When the heck did I tell you to do that? I can't even communicate with you in the surface layer! Your biometrics are unique. Do you know how hard it is to create a new persona for you? I know you're upset, but please just listen to me. I had my doubts at first too, but I was caught in a dangerous situation right before it happened. I didn't have time to think clearly. But it did seem strange that I was able to hear your voice in the surface layer. <sighs> I didn't mean to scare you just now. I just... Anyways, I'm sorry. 
um... <sighs> so you're sure you heard my voice in the network? Yes. I'll have to look into that later. Right now, we need to get the firewall to stop targeting you. We don't have much time, but in order to send you back into the network as quickly as possible, I'll have to take a few risks. We need to restart the firewall, but it has to be done piece by piece. They will take time, but each part will be extremely vulnerable. Viruses will most likely sense that vulnerability and begin attacking the network even more aggressively. That, in turn, will cause the firewall to concentrate its remaining resources on the viruses, which should deprioritize you enough to grant you safe access to the network. Got it. I'm counting on you. For now, just give me a brief rundown of your recent actions within the network. For starters, I confirm that the history within the surface layer can definitely be changed. People who should have died are now living their new lives. Impossible. Just calculating and recreating history commands a significant portion of the network's computing power. Recalculating the lives of so many people within the network would be an immense drain on its already strained resources. I can't imagine it would waste that much computing power on something so meaningless. But it did. So they must have meant something, right? Are you saying the surface layer serves a greater purpose? Honestly, it's been bothering me from the very beginning. What's the point of keeping something as troublesome as the network in existence? when all it does is reproduce history within the surface layer. But right now, my intuition tells me that I'm one step closer to understanding the truth behind this whole thing. Right now, I can only go with what I know. If you're seeking answers, you'll have to uncover them yourself in the network. We're short on time, so I'll get to work on the firewall. What do you make of it, Papa? I don't know who else to ask about this. Someone clearly tricked the Authorizer, but you already know the answer, don't you? Whoever did this wanted the Firewall to detect the Authorizer and prevent them from accessing the network. Things are getting even more complicated. If the enemy was able to imitate me this time, there's no telling what they'll do next time. Maybe it was Nemesis? Or the heirs of Ida? Or maybe... Someone else from Hykros is responsible for this. It's also possible that we're facing an entirely new enemy now. Quit acting scared! If they've already done something like this to us, chances are they're going to try messing with us again. And when they do, that's when we'll catch them red-handed! Simple as that! Yes, you're absolutely right. Also, Papa, I have to warn you. You're usually the one who helps me bear the load of the network's cybernetic link. But restarting the firewall is going to greatly increase that load. Bring it on! Nothing's too much for the Great Papa, so just leave it to me. <laughs> what I mean is that you're sitting this one out. I'm going to bear the load myself this time, so get some rest. What's that supposed to mean? I told you leave it to me, didn't I? You better not be underestimating me, Plotty! Just do as I ask, please. If you do, I won't count your appearance just now against you. In fact, I'll let you come out to play two more times this week. Huh? For real? You swear it? I swear it. Hmm, you got yourself a deal? Hey, wait a minute. You're not gonna use this against me, are you? Thank <laughs> you. 